and kick world bantamweight champion Troy Dorsey. And an extraordinary beginning to the fight. Dorsey took up the mark on the attack. We grab a lot of followers from his native black country. <laughs> well, these guys are not fooling around, baby. They're right into the action. Definitely. Both men wearing head guards in this bout. You know, if this carries on like this, I really can't see it going in the distance. Nope. It's scheduled for five too many rounds. I can't see it going that far. And uh, it seems that Dorsey's holding and punching there without any, uh, without being penalized. And he's coming forward with powerful hooking punches to the body and head. Graf charging forward with a couple of front kicks. attack there from uh, from Dorsey, I think. Yeah, Dorsey's very versatile. He's uh, pretty much trying to hit him with every punch and technique in the book. And he uh, he looks fresh, though. He used to say it is the first round, but he looks alert. McGrath coming back. His work rate is good, but his timing and his distancing is slightly off. And he's falling victim to these flurries of punches and kicks. Sweeping, kicking. Technically, Dorsey's all over him. Dorsey knows it too. Dorsey can see it. He, uh, his instincts tell him that he's got this guy in the pocket. He's just ready to nail him any time right now. And the McGrath brothers, Graham and Paul, are not known as technicians so much as having a lot of heart. And I think that Graham McGrath will need every, every ounce of heart he has against this incredible American fighter. And again, these punches getting through the guard of Graham McGrath. But that was most definitely Troy Dorsey's round. A one-way one -way traffic in the first, no doubt about that. And definitely one-way traffic. And uh, I see him nailing him in the second or third. I don't see it going more than three rounds. Yeah. But uh, Dorsey, uh, Dorsey's looking <clears throat> effective, yeah. confident, to the point. I really can't see it going more than two rounds. Right We're really seeing what, what a world champion is made of here. And uh, the Black Country singing department over there are certainly holding forth on behalf of Graham McGrath. And he's going to need all the encouragement he can get. It's a hard, hard fight for him. And I agree with Kevin, I can't see this going for the five, two-minute rounds. You know, the kind of things that's going to be going around McGrath's head right now is he's got to plug in and he's got to try to take the fight right now. He's got to turn the fight now or else he can forget him. He's okay. history. Check it away for round two. And McGrath fast off the stool with a side kick and misses. Now he's light on his feet. And he really needs to be coming in with more effective techniques against someone like Dorsey. Dorsey's coming forward again. Very sharp punching. Jump spinning kick. And Dorsey off balance that time. His footwork good. Moving out of the way there as McGrath comes in. There's McGrath in the corner. And he rattled McGrath with a couple of those headshots. And I think Dorsey's ring craft obviously superior here. Most definitely. He's cutting the ring off real good. He's putting McGrath exactly where he wants him. And he's unloading those heavy bombs. It's a matter of time, Ben. It's a matter of time. McGrath losing his footing then. Dorsey's so confident. Nice shot. Nice yeah, shot. Very hot. Very sharp. You know, in my eyes, Dorsey could take out McGrath at any given time. Certainly seems that way. I mean, whether he's being merciful or whether he's reluctant to end the fight this early, I, I can't say. But it, it certainly seems that Dorsey is not being threatened by McGrath in the lead. I really just think he's out there having a good time, babe. Definitely. He's unloading some fancy fan techniques, these jump spinning kicks, punching combinations, and McGrath really has not, not got a lot to answer with. You know, a lot of times I'll be out there fighting Bay and uh, I get involved in the fight so much, I'm having a good time, I really don't care how long, how long sure, it takes. Sure, right, right, right. Oh, another sharp combination. And McGrath must surely be feeling these, these punches. Spinning kick bottom there, punches again. Punch to the body. McGrath not landing anything. And I think he did damage to the nose there, perhaps. He breathed out very strongly. 
End of round two. And McGrath's durability is impressive as ever. And in his corner, he has his brother. And further down the ringside, Howard the Hawk Brown both advising him. I don't really know what they can suggest he does because Dorsey is that much superior to him. He really is a, Most an uneven bout. McGrath does have, I'd say he has the capacity, the capability of doing a better job. I just think that his mentality has now been demolished and demoralized. And to be able to do anything, he's really got to start, you know, bottom line, he's got to kick ass there. He's got to come back, and he's got to try to turn the fight at least, no matter what happens. Certainly, yes. And um, Dorsey's camp, I mean, they're pretty much telling him to carry on with what he's doing. And I see in his corner now John Longstreet, who just fought, giving advice. And seconds away now from the third round. McGrath again charging in, but not with any kind of combination that's going to bother Dorsey. Dorsey on the attack again. Oh, that left hand connecting. McGrath must be feeling this punishment by now, surely. Dorsey absorbing whatever McGrath is, is, is handing out. With. Good thing McGrath ducked then. That was a spinning kick that would have uh, caused a lot of damage if it had connected. Nice combination. A couple body shots fall up to the hook of the head. I like to see that. McGrath coming in with kicks, and he's, he's kicking and punching is, is just way off mark at the moment. He's not connecting with anything serious. Well, it's just about every shot, these hooking shots and these spinning kicks of Dorsey is doing damage. Round kick to the body. Pretty much picking his shots. His ring craft, they're getting him out of trouble. Covering. McGrath's tiring now, I think. You know, McGrath just doesn't have the ammunition. It's about the end now. I can... McGrath knows it. I think he can sense it. He's starting to slow up a little bit. And I think Eddie... And then you almost... I think Torsey almost turned to look at uh, the corner. McGrath's corner yelling at... Dorsey <laughs> was tiring, I, I, and I can't see that happening. And the pace has slowed for both men. Maybe Dorsey is in fact running out of steam. He's still not unloading the kind of shots he was earlier. I really think Dorsey's surprised that McGrath has absorbed so much punishment still on his feet. Certainly, yes. And yes, I think both men very tired at the end of that round. I think Howard Brown was right when he was advising McGrath. McGrath, that Dorsey was tired. I think Dorsey is feeling the strain of this. Uh, basically, he's been working the harder of the two because he's been unloading all these heavy shots. Whereas McGrath is not. I'm thinking McGrath can capitalise on that in the closing two rounds. Might be interesting. And I'm sure that five, two minutes is a lot longer in there than it is out here at ringside. <laughs> I don't know if McGrath's ever been in a fight as tough as this. He certainly looks like he's uh, a little bothered right now. Well, he'll go, but whatever happens, Bay, he'll go back out of this fight with a lot of more experience than he ever had when he got certainly, in. Certainly, certainly. A very game fighter, a lot of heart the man has. Not known as the great technician. Now we have the penultimate round. Round four of this five round encounter. And I see that McGrath has abandoned his head guard at this stage. I would not think that was a wise move, but perhaps a show of confidence. I guess to me that would be a symbol of he's out there now to do everything he can to throw caution to the wind. They're mixing it up on the inside again. McGrath landing a shot there to the head of Dorsey. Dorsey covering, moving forward. Nice body shot. Yes. Yeah. Front to the head. Dorsey definitely is tiring, I think. He, he, he's not as strong as he was in the first two. McGrath side kick, jump side kicks in. But he cannot follow up effectively to these kicks with any punching combinations. A spinning kick from Dorsey. 
Left hand connect. And feeling fatigued at this stage of the fight, in the fourth round. They're resting on each other before coming back for these flurries of action. If McGrath is going to do anything right now, this is the turning point. He's got the opportunity if he can grasp it. I already wrote him off two rounds ago. I'm surprised he can't go this way. And he's coming back then with punches to the head of, of Dorsey. And McGrath coming forward then. And Dorsey coming back like the champion he is. What a tough fight this is turning out to be. As McGrath is ploughing forward then. Got by a spinning kick, now he's coming forward. Unloading shots at Dorsey. And Dorsey coming back. At the end of round four, an incredible comeback in the latter part of that round. Yeah. I think he's turned this, uh, this fight psychologically almost. I'd say uh, 80 degrees of the weight. I think that what, what we got here is, is Dorsey's surprise with the durability of his opponent. McGrath senses that, and he feels that, hey, this guy's not hurting me as bad as I thought in the first place. I got a chance of coming back into this. And he's taking it with both hands. Personally, I don't think he's going to do it, but he sure as hell proved Giving it a good try. I mean, I hey. think his followers can be proud of him. He's going to get mean, a lot of respect out of this He was taking a lot of punishment in the second and third. We pretty much wrote him off on the later part of the fourth. He was really putting Dorsey on the offensive and forcing Dorsey to come back out of survival. Dorsey no longer able to pick his shot. And Dorsey's going to be anxious to get a knockout in this round of shape. And you can see the supporters, the Black Country supporters there at ringside, hyperactive, really proud of their man. Fifth round, fifth and final round. And then the clinches and punching almost immediately. Oh, a heavy right there from Dorsey connecting. Oh, a left. And this could be all over. The grass durability is extraordinary as always. He's basically leaning on his man then. And Dorsey, sharp in that first round, was landing some power shots. Both out there to throw bombs. Definitely. The grass going in there to, to, to hit and connect. While he's doing that, he's leaving himself very much exposed. By Powerful doing that, that, definitely a, a KO situation to develop. Yes. McGrath taking some more shots there. Lofman off balance, but swinging away. And again, McGrath absorbing these extraordinary punches. Coming forward again. McGrath coming forward. What courage he's showing. He's taking some punishment out there. Walks on the left hand. He's leaning forward. Still on his feet, though. And then we saw the Englishman on the offensive for a moment. And Dorsey leaning in, pushing him across the ring. Lifting it up on the inside, and McGrath is, is tending to lean on the American at this stage. Oh, and a heavy right hand. How he survived that. It had him wobbling for a split second. Extraordinary. That was almost the what, final nail of the coffin. What durability. And they're just about the comedy box now. We can see the look of aggression on Dorsey's face. As he plows in the opponent, throws him over. And the crowd don't like this at all. But Dorsey's just doing what a great champion does. He's just ending it in style. And what a fight. What a fight. The awesome technique of Troy Dorsey and the amazing durability of Graham McGrath. And obviously, we will we give the fight to the American, but our hearts go out to this black country bomber. What a show. i got to go along with that, but I've had to give a prize for our guts and determination. We have to give it to Graf. Certainly, yeah.
And there are actually members of the audience who think that McGrath won the fight, among them Lajus Jacob. But, I mean, surely anybody looking at it in a neutral point of view would agree with the decision. Dorsey all the way. Thank <laughs> you.